All right, we've covered really much about the text and we know how to work with text boxes. Shapes are very similar, so we will not have to go through everything again, but I want to show you a few important things about them. Let me make quickly a new slide. As always, get rid of everything and go to the Insert tab. On the Insert tab, we can insert pictures, we can insert screenshots. The most important thing, which is mostly used in PowerPoint, shapes, smart art charts, and many more like audio or video. Let me show you the shapes. I will go to shapes and I will select any given rectangle. For example, a rounded one like this. You place it inside the presentation just by clicking and dragging around. Depending on what shape are you currently editing, it can have a little yellow icon here, which is an indicator of any options that can be changed here inside of the shape. This time we have a rounded rectangle and we can change the amount of the roundness inside of the rectangle. If I will click on the rotation while holding the shift key, it will rotate every 15%. Just as we had previously, that we could right click on it and go to format shape, we have more rotation options here inside of the drawing tool in the format tab in the rotate options. Once I click on them, I go more rotation options and here the third tab appears and we have everything here. We can change its position, we can change the rotation and the size of the box. For example, going to the amount of six degrees. That's it when it comes to size, rotating and working with any shape. An important thing, if you have a design, for example, we made those rectangles, they are a bit rounded. Once we are doing a presentation, we see those objects and we see the text inside doesn't look good and we would like to have circles instead of them. This is absolutely no problem. Just select any shape you need to change, go to the format tab and in the insert shapes tab, you have edit shape. Go to edit shape, change shape and you can change it to any shape you like. For example, as I was talking, the circle. The circle right now is a bit imperfect. You could either go to the circle and by holding the shift key, make a new proper one or click here and just adjust the height and width. If I will make the same amounts here, for example, nine and nine, I have now a perfect rounded circle, which is properly distributed, not like this ball, as if somebody would sit on it. The last nice feature I want to show you to not overwhelm you with informations again, with working with shapes, that you can achieve any custom shape you like in PowerPoint. Let me go to a rectangle, I'll place the rectangle here and this requires some advanced editing, but it's important to know that there is the possibility to achieve that in PowerPoint. I go once again to edit shape and instead of changing to any shape from here, I go to edit points. Now, as I come closer, I see I can edit the points of this vector object. I can right click, for example, here, add points, and have some fun with it. I can even use the Bezier handles to adjust the roundings on the corners. Well, as you see, this is pretty advanced and you do not need to use this normally, but I just want to make you aware that there is the possibility to use it. Why would you, for example, need this? For example, I'm using a shape like a triangle. I want to cover this part with the triangle, but I do not want it to stand out as much as it does now. So I could go to edit shape, edit points and edit the points a little bit like that. Maybe here, maybe going here, adding a point and it would cover this place and not stand out as much as before. So these are the essentials, really the crash overview about adding objects, editing objects and working with objects. Always remember, as before, you can select each object, you can group them in one group and now you have one big object. This is especially useful if you would like, for example, to use the smart arts. The smart arts look great, but they are really hard to use. If I have a smart art, which looks really amazing, and I make one object bigger, it automatically shifts all other objects and makes them smaller. I do not like this. So what I do when I'm working in PowerPoint and if I use those smart arts, I click here, I go to right click, I go to group and ungroup them. Now I have a simple group like before, 
I can resize the object and it won't mess around with all the other objects. That's it for now about the shapes. Thank you very much for attention in this lesson about shapes and let's meet again in the next one.